Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper. Remember my CB installation in my Land Cruiser? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't pretty. So I decided to tidy it up a bit and also uh, add a VHF antenna, VHF UHF, so that I can have, uh, well, 2 meters and 70 centimeter in the car also. Instead of uh, passing the cable directly through the firewall, which is <laughs> really ugly and not something to do, I got this, uh, well, it's a bulkhead SO239 to SO239 connector. So this will go through the bulkhead here and I can plug in my radio on cable here and this will go to the antenna uh, inside the car. So this is the situation now with the wire going directly through the bulkhead and uh, <laughs> that's really not good at all. So here's what we're going to do guys. Yep, cut it off. I've had some uh, sensitivity problem receiving with the, uh, the CB so I think there's a short somewhere or something like that so I'm going to remove it to check out uh, the connections. I'm using a stepper drill bit now. Those things are very expensive, but they're so useful. This is 14, 16, 18 millimeters, so third one. I'm going to use a thread locker on it, of course. I don't want that to come loose. Oh, that's way too much. <laughs> way too much. Of course, what I need to do is to put a plug on this now, PL159. And this is how you prepare the uh, coax for the BNC, not the BNC, <laughs> the uh, PL159 connector. Uh, you take the braid and you retract it here, pull it, and uh, you take about a quarter inch, a little bit more maybe, of the insulation, leaving the center coax exposed. Never forget to put this part of the PL onto your wire before you solder because after it's too late. So you see the braid here which is the ground connection. You see it here through the little window and the center coax is coming out on the end. And there should be absolutely no short between the two. I have a gas soldering iron so no I can't show you the soldering because I broke my tripod but I really want to buy a 12 volt model because this is a little bit too hot. And at least uh, it's done on this end now. I really want to keep this wire away from the exhaust here. Um, so I'm going to attach it here somewhere to uh, one of these conduits. Uh, I don't really want a very sharp band here on the plug so I'm gonna have to find a way to do this. And hey, I've done the inside part, uh, soldered the uh, PL159, same thing. So this is much cleaner and much safer. Now there are going to be some losses because of this connection, but what it will allow me to do is to plug in another radio onto this antenna if I want to. So the problem I'm having with the uh, CB antenna is that there is a short somewhere in this cable and there is a little bit of a kink here I suspect the uh, the sharp metal of the under the hood just uh, damaged the cable, and this is the uh, serial base connector that I'm going to have to rewire. Unfortunately, I don't have the extra cable to uh, make a new one, but I do have my VHF antenna cable, and um, if I don't use too much of that, I might be able to uh, use the surplus to make a new cable. So we'll see. I already have a hole in the hood for the CB antenna, so I might as well make another one for the VHF antenna, which I think is going to be here somewhere. A little close to the windshield maybe, but uh, you know, I don't want to destroy this uh, thermal protection here. So I think I'm going to put it just about here, and you see where that is. Uh, I guess it's not too bad, I'm not going to use too much power, so... I like it there, I think it's a, it's a good spot. 
the problem now is to find a place down here to uh, make the wire go through and that's gonna be difficult. I got a small uh, Nagoya antenna for UHF VHF and it's really really small. Uh, I'm going to see if it works well. The good news is that I have enough cable for both antennas but the bad news is that both those cables are very poor quality. Alright I'm going to scan on two meters here. Stop the scan. And it's about 9 to 1 on the whole band. Horrendous. I don't know if it's because we're in a parking, but I'll have to try outside. Let's try UHF. Well, it's about two to one everywhere. So, mission accomplished. Uh, the CB antenna is on and I have a nice connection here. Also the VHF antenna. Well, both wires come down here, away from the exhaust system. And, uh, well, about, still about 10 centimeters away there, maybe 15, and uh, they go through the bulkhead. So I reconnected everything here, and uh, I even added a uh, wire for the speaker that's going to be down down there. And uh, I made the uh, CB stick out a little bit more so that uh, the cable here wouldn't be so uh, bent. So uh, hopefully that's not going to uh, interfere with my lever here, but we'll see. But uh, I think it's going to work because I checked the uh, SWR and uh, it wasn't great, but it was in a parking garage, so... And the speaker, <laughs> and the speaker works, and it's awesome, and it's very loud, and uh, which is good because this car is very loud, so... So, not super exciting. <laughs> It took me all afternoon to do that and that's a long time and I still have a problem with the uh, President Grant 2. Actually I'm not quite sure, I, the reception is weird. I do hear signals that seem to be coming from far away and sometimes I don't hear much of anything. Uh, I tried to talk to Luke yesterday and uh, he could hear me fine and I could not hear him. I'm barely, uh, and that's, I don't know. And I'm not sure if it's in every single mode or only AM. Uh, I could hear him in FM slightly better, but not by much. It's almost as if I have an attenuator uh, in line somewhere. And that's bizarre. But anyway, the uh, VHF uh, installation is finished. Well, the antenna at least, except that the antenna I got is crap. <laughs> and it's a Nagoya, but I think it's a fake one. Uh, there are lots of fakes uh, floating around, so I'm going to have to get another VHF UHF antenna. I don't have a VHF uh, UHF radio yet, and I'm thinking about the uh, Retevis RT95. It's a 25 watt VHF UHF, pretty damn cheap, about $120. So, you know, just for the car, I don't really care that much. Now, we said that, uh, well, I said that <laughs> I was going to talk a little more about prepping. And uh, although I love this car, I, I mean, you know, I think a car, a, a truck or anything like that isn't really your best bet for a bug out vehicle. You can carry a lot of stuff, that's the advantage. But I think a all terrain motorcycle, really, uh, that's something that would get you out of most trouble. Now, of course, a truck could be your best bet for bugging out, but you would have to leave early enough. I think a lot of people would uh, delay evacuation uh, for any kind of uh, catastrophe, and I think that would be the biggest mistake you can make. Because of course, uh, you know, by the time you decide to leave, if the roads are all packed with cars and, you know, it's bumper to bumper, you're not going to get out, maybe not fast enough. The most important question also is, where are you going? Do you have a plan? Do you have a retreat somewhere? Do you have some place that you know well where you can go? Of course, if we're talking about some kind of contamination, the answer can be anything but here. That's why I think it's important to know your region and the spots you could go to uh, if need be. 
and about radio of course it's important to know your what I call your RF landscape uh, who is where as well as the uh, topography of the terrain it's good to have a list of uh, repeaters in the area in case they uh, still will be working of course I wouldn't count on them but uh, you know if uh, one repeater is working for a few days or has enough gas uh, with the generator you might be able to use it you might want to have a map with your buddies uh, plotted on it uh, so that uh, wherever you're going uh, you know which one you're going to be able to reach so after this uh, CB installation and uh, after I install a uh, VHF UHF radio I don't think I'm going to install an HF uh, you know shortwave radio in the car I will probably install uh, a base for an antenna so that I can use uh, portable radios because you know in some circumstances you might have to abandon your car and you don't want to leave a bunch of very expensive radios in it when that happens also I like cheap radios in the car simply because they can be stolen so I would prefer buying two <laughs> keeping one in reserve than buying uh, one expensive radio I'm going to keep troubleshooting the uh, President Grand Tomb and see if really it, something is wrong or not. I'm, I think something is, but I, I'm not sure. Sure seems to work in LSB. I'll keep investigating, uh, otherwise uh, if something is wrong I, I might have to send it back. I do have a President Valerie uh, that Luke gave me that I could install in this car. And by the way, the channel just passed 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> it's absolutely awesome, I never thought we'd get that far. Thank you to all of you who subscribed, especially the people on Patreon.com, uh, my patrons who uh, really make this channel possible. So what's next? Uh, 20,000? Uh, help me out. Share my videos. <laughs> we might just get there. Thank you. Have a good one.